I matched into my dream family medicine residency, <sighs> North Colorado Family Medicine. And in this video, I kind of wanted to let you guys know why I ended up choosing that program. But one of the main reasons that I ended up choosing NCFM over my home program. So I love my home program here at UNM. We are known for graduating really great family medicine physicians. People want to come from all around the country to train here. It is literally one of the best in the country, I believe. But I felt that I needed to leave to grow as a physician. And what I mean by this is I have so many mentors in the family medicine realm since dating back to when I was a pre-med. So as a pre-med, most of my mentors are family medicine physicians. And you know, it's kind of been a long time coming. It kind of made sense to apply to family medicine. It's what I've been doing my whole, you know, pre-med into medical school journey and it all just kind of came together. I love my mentors to death, but I did feel that sometimes I wasn't being pushed hard enough or harder just because of that really close relationship I had with so many of them. And I felt like I needed to remove myself from my comfort zone. I could grow to be that next level physician that I want to be. I want to do rural, unopposed, full spectrum, surgical OB, family medicine. It's a mouthful. I felt that North Colorado was going to give me the best shot at that. Let me tell you guys why. So NCFM is amazing in the fact that it is one of the highest volume OB uh, family medicine residencies in the country. And the reason for this is because there are a lot of immigrants coming to Greeley, Colorado for a meat packing plant. This meat packing plant, you know, um, attracts a lot of young immigrants. And as you guys know, I love taking care of immigrants, refugee, Latino, Hispanic population. That's my target population that I want to take care of. And the cool thing about a lot of immigrant populations is they're generally younger than other populations. So they're having babies. So it kind of felt like the right place for me to be to take care of young immigrant families and receive the training that I want at the same time is just, you know, it just mixed so perfectly and I couldn't have asked for a better like place to train in. So with all that, you know, background knowledge, I went ahead and when I visited Greeley, Colorado, I fell in love with Greeley and the surrounding area, you know, Fort Collins um, was awesome. Denver was awesome. And the reason is because Greeley is kind of like a central urban center, but it's just surrounded by farmland. You gotta know I'm a farm kid and, you know, going out there just reminded me so much of Mexico and all the farmland. And then, you know, you still have the amenities of the urban center, get the training I want. And it just felt, you know, everything comes together for a reason. I don't want to give up taking care of, you know, my pediatric patients or my elderly patients. So uh, family medicine, no brainer, high volume OB, um, beautiful place, location, you know, where I could see myself living and working for a really long time because I don't want to live in a huge city. Uh, I ended up interviewing and also visiting Swedish in Seattle. Great programs, insane reputation, but the city of Seattle is just too much for me. Finding parking was a nightmare. Everything else was awesome. The fish was amazing. The views were beautiful. Uh, everything else was great about it, but it just didn't, I'm just not the city kind of person. And that's ultimately kind of what it came down to. When I first started applying for residencies, I really wanted to go to Contra Costa in California. And the reason I ended up um, not ranking it was just because Colorado just felt right to me. Uh, I ranked my home program UNM second because I didn't feel like leaving UNM for any other program other than Colorado would be worth it for me. Um, because most of the programs you have to do an OB fellowship anyways and UNM's OB fellowship is probably one of the best in the country. Uh, I truly believe so because I worked with the fellows and it's a two-year fellowship program as opposed to where everybody else it's like a one-year fellowship and I truly felt like they were taking care of the patients properly uh, and they were challenged. Uh, man, were they challenged but you know they were some of my mentors and I loved working with the fellows under the fellows there and then I ended up bringing Swedish or after that a few Swedish programs mostly the first one was CMAR they take care of the Latino Hispanic population um, that's like the main goal uh, of that um, clinic like uh, there's multiple clinics and that's the one I would have really wanted to go to just to take care of you know that Hispanic population and then you know they have multiple clinics Carolyn Downs, Cherry Hill, um, the Seattle Indian Health Board which was actually really amazing it really surprised me and I loved it but I wouldn't 
leave my New Mexico program. There's one here, a brand new one in Shiprock, New Mexico that I ranked above the Seattle Indian Health Board simply because why would I leave to Seattle to take care of you know, that patient population when I can do it here in my home state? Where I've been to that hospital, that's where I actually did my OB rotation and I love the people. They took care of me so much and they loved me and they were so grateful and I was so grateful for them and it just felt like just such a beautiful place to be. So I ended up ranking this one of course higher than um, I would the Swedish one just simply because of that reason. So, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know it's been five years, it took me five years to graduate medical school. You know, I'm glad things happen the way they do. Things happen in this world for, you know, who knows what reason, but we're here now and I hope you guys join me on the Spelling Medicine residency journey. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below to run this up for the YouTube algorithm and help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.